Good afternoon, folks. This morning, we got the reporting of the second major mesospheric change likely related to the ongoing magnetic pole shift. That's as good of a reason as any to review the first one. But first, this morning, we hit the idea that the mesosphere is shrinking. Its profile is decreasing substantially, and this has been happening for most of the last 60 years. This marks the second major change in this upper atmospheric layer, and the first one was one of the biggest science debates of the first four years of this decade. The polar summer mesospheric echoes, a significant and prominent feature detected for as long as humans have had the technology to detect them, have been increasing. Despite the papers describing this increase in echoes being related to solar and geomagnetic activity, the mainstream climate zealots tried hijacking the narrative immediately. You see, these echoes are the result of how much ice, dust, and electric charge is in the mesosphere. That's ice, dust, and electric charge. Now, the mainstreamers tried to say the increase was a result of climate change. You see, while their story is that climate change is warming the lower atmosphere where we live, it's cooling the upper atmosphere. And so they said, cooler upper atmosphere, more ice more echoes. It's another sign of humans changing the world. The problem is that up at those heights, the temperature is about negative 80. All the water vapor is already ice, and a slight cooling, man-made or not, wouldn't actually affect the echo production. This explanation went out the window when another paper on these echoes confirmed that their decadal variability was in perfect match with the solar cycle, increased echoes in sunspot maximum, a slight decrease in sunspot minimum, and those mainstream climate zealots went noticeably silent on this issue. But there was another part of the mystery to understand, and the mainstream still hasn't come out and addressed it. On top of the sunspot decadal variation, there is the long-term trend of increasing echoes which started the discussion in the first place. Veteran observers who have been following the magnetic pole shift, the solar system shift, and the impact of the galactic current sheet know we are taking increased electric charge of the atmosphere and more galactic dust from the solar corona all the way out past Pluto. Let's remember those three factors in making the polar mesospheric echoes, ice, dust, and electric charge. Well, since the ice is not on the table at that altitude and very low temperature, galactic dust from the current sheet, and extra electricity from the weakening magnetic field letting in more solar particles and cosmic rays into the atmosphere are the answer to why the echoes are increasing. Now, when we last discussed this topic more than a year ago, we said we needed to be on the lookout for something, anything else that also indicated the mesosphere was changing in character. That's what we got this morning tracking the shift any way we can, which usually means in ways that nobody else is looking for. If I were you, I'd keep these in mind. It is not done yet. Subscribe and I'll see you in the morning for The Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.